Yes, people, welcome back for the much anticipated male senior group B 63.5 kg final in the red corner, Louis Goodman from Fisher, and in the blue corner, Mickey Evans from Stockbridge. In the previous video, we had some extended highlights and some clips from Louis's quarter and semi final, so I highly suggest you watch that the link is above but in the meantime we've got some insight from Louis so let's hear from the main man himself. So going into my first bout of the Harringay Box Cup I faced an opponent from a club called Lineker in Liverpool. I didn't know much about my opponent going into this bout so I knew I had to strip it back to basics, establish my jab, really prioritise just sussing him out in that first round. I thought I boxed okay could have done a little bit better, but um, I managed to get the third round stoppage and I placed myself in the semi-finals the next day. So going into the semi-finals, I knew I had quite a tough bout against a West Ham boy in Freddie Marshall. I knew he liked to come forward, throw big shots, and I knew I had to make sure I was constantly moving and boxing with a flow. Couldn't get drawn into a scrap and, and, and have it out with him. I knew that. So I stuck to my game plan, got my jab going, and then after that, the feet came with it. This performance, I was, I was pretty happy with. I was putting on a bit of a show, and I had quite a bit of support there as well. So... It was really great for me to box in the semi-final against Freddie. He's a great fighter, a really nice guy as well. So all the best to him. I was happy to get the unanimous decision and put myself into the final. A cracking first round. Uh, I think Louis just edged it, but get in the comments, let me know. What do you think? Going into the final, I had Stockport's Mikey Evans. I knew Mikey from socials prior to this bout. I knew he was a good kid. I believe he's boxed for England uh, and he's boxed quite a few times in numerous box cups internationally and stuff like that. So I knew it wasn't going to be an easy bout. Come on, 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, move on to our penultimate contest in Green C, down number 20, once again, a Harringay Box final for 2024, male senior elite class, under 54 kilograms. It's doing three minute rounds, between Alex Jason in the red corner, representing the Grange Amateur Boxing Club, Asen Shuat. And in the blue corner, representing the Linux Amateur Boxing Club. So, with this being the Harringay Box Club, Louis actually used to box for Harringay Boxing Club before moving on to Peacocks and then ending up at Fisher where he is now. And I'm sorry, I don't actually have much information to uh, or much insight to give uh, about Mikey Evans. Not for want of trying, but he didn't get back to me, I think. He's having too much of a good time on his holiday. So, um, yeah, apologies about that. But um, the uh, action speaks louder than words. I think for aspiring boxers studying this bout in particular, it's a very good one in so far as the contrast between the styles. Louis, the flamboyant boxer with lots of flair, whereas Mikey Evans, he's got very solid foundations, very orthodox, but what he does do, he does it extremely well. The range control, the adaptation, the defense, the pressure, the timing, and all of those things play a massive, massive part in how well you do as a boxer. You don't need to do anything fancy, but what you do, you have to make sure you practice time and time and time again until you perfect it. And perfection really, as, a, as an artist, and boxers are artists, is something that you always aspire to attain knowing that you will never achieve it. It's the pursuit of forever improving. Going into the first round, I honestly thought I boxed really well. Um, I gave him a standing eight count. Um, I was in a good flow. And I thought I was cruising, um, really, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, the second and third rounds, my feet slowed a little bit. I got involved a little bit too much and I lost on a split. All learning, I thought I could have done a lot better. And good luck to him going forward. Uh, I'm sure we'll meet again in the future.
So there we have it. What a cracking contest. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to check out the other videos on the channel as well. There's plenty of amateur boxing goodness in store. Thank you for watching.